Hey guys, today I have another book and we're gonna think again about what the author's purpose is. So remember, we can think about three different reasons that an author would write a book. The first one is to persuade you. When an author wants to persuade you, it's like when you go to the store and they're saying, the watermelon is on discount or descuento. What do they want you to do? They want you to buy the watermelon. The second purpose that an author can have is to give you information. So normally with information, we think of a nonfiction book. It's giving you facts or information about an animal, about a place, about a person, like a biography. And the last is to entertain, which is like in our Pete the Cat book, where it was funny, it had a song, it's one of our favorite characters, that would be to entertain. So we're gonna read this book called Meet the Howlers, and we're gonna see what you think the author's purpose is. Persuade, inform, or entertain. So this book is called Meet the Howlers, and it was written by April Poli Sire and illustrated by Woody Miller. Now remember, the author is the person that writes the words, and the illustrator is the person that does the pictures. So we can look here and see, this is a book that uses drawings. These are not photographs, like what Miss Kylie is using right now to take this video. These are drawings that someone did with their hand, and it looks like maybe they used colored pencils, like a lot of us have used before. Meet the Howlers. They say this is the papa, mama, brother, baby, and sister. Meet the Howlers, living life on the go. Meet the Howlers, hoo, hoo, hoo. Howler monkeys are named for their incredibly loud calls, which can be heard from a mile away. Only adult howler monkeys can actually howl. Infants or babies can make little sounds and young males begin to squeak. Baby hitches a ride on its mama's fur, but no one says he's lazy or too big for her. For the first few weeks, an infant or a baby Howler monkey clings to its mother. It holds on to her stomach as she moves through the trees, feeding, climbing, and leaping. So if this howler monkey gives milk to the baby, what kind of vertebrae is that? If you said mammal, you did a great job. They also are covered in fur. That way we know they're a mammal. Brother bounces the branches, leans and leaps midair. Yet no one nags, come down, you're gonna fall from there. Howler monkeys live in peaceful forests with spider monkeys, capuchins, tamarins, sloth, and lots of other forest creatures. But as the noisy howlers travel through the trees, they sometimes startle other animals, which climb or fly away. Startle would mean to scare. Can you see an animal on this page that got scared? That bird. Sister claims a branch, yet no one says to share. She never has to take a bath. Her suit is wash and wear. What do you think she's doing with her, her fingers? Maybe getting some bugs off? Oh, and I see a toucan. It rains a lot where howler monkeys live, so that cleans their fur. Howler monkeys sometimes nibble, which means to take a small bite, and handpick insects, dirt, and leaves out of their fur or the fur of another monkey. Why? Because these are the howlers, furry from their head to their toe. These are the howlers. Who, who, who? Even adult howler monkeys make two, may take two or three naps every day. Wow, howler monkeys like to sleep. Brother rests a lot, he hunches, lips curved down, yet no one ever asks him if he is feeling down. Howler monkeys' faces may look grumpy, as if they are frowning, but that's just their regular relaxed expression. Back here we can see an anteater. That is an animal that has a long nose so that it can eat ants or hormigas. We learn that howler monkeys like to sleep a lot on this page. 
Sister never waits for breakfast, snack, or lunch. She grabs a bunch of leaves and gobbles. Munch, munch, munch. Howler monkeys are, you, are unusual in that they eat lots of leaves. Most monkeys do not eat leaves. Howler monkeys also eat flowers and fruit. They eat lots of leaves. Their habitat is in the forest, which is the same habitat as a toucan. That's why we have howler monkeys here in Honduras, because we have a forest or a jungle habitat around us. They play out in the rain, but no one calls them inside. They never brush their teeth or scrub their chins. Howler monkeys live in a tropical forest where it rains so much. So being out in the rain is just a regular part of their life. You can see the mommy and the baby over here. Why? Because these are the howlers climbing to and fro. These are the howlers. Who, who, who? Miss Reagan's not very good at making the howler monkey sound. I kind of sound like an owl. They never go to school or learn their ABCs. They lounge up in the arms of the trees. Howler monkeys live in groups of 10 to 20 monkeys living together. The babies are born all different times of the year. So a single group may have babies and older monkeys. <clears throat> if you ever get too close, they will let you know Howler monkeys send a special message. Go, go, go. When howlers sense that another animal, such as a person, is too close to them, they respond by yelling. They also may call or shake the branches or throw things at the person. How do they look on their face? <gasps> they look a little bit surprised, maybe scared. Have you ever been somewhere and heard a howler monkey? Do you remember when we had that howler monkey at school? It did not like seeing all the children so close to it. I think it was scared. Listen to the papa growl and howl and bay. Other howlers hoot from treetops far away. So when you hear them, sometimes they're trying to scare something away, but they also might be talking to another monkey. At dawn, that was when the sun comes up, and dusk, when the sun goes down, Adult howler monkeys woof, grunt, and bark, and howl. Each group of howler monkeys announces where it is and claims its territory. In this way, different families don't have to fight over a place to stay. So when it becomes nighttime, they like to make their sound really loud so the other groups of monkeys or troops of monkeys don't come over. This is their special place to sleep that night because they don't have a house like you and me. Why? Because these are howlers, furry from head to toe. These are howlers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is my sound getting better? Miss Kylie says it's getting better. Okay, and back here is some information. Have you been thinking about our author's purpose? Hmm, Does it, is it trying to persuade us to get a howler monkey as our pet? No, that's not a great idea. Is it trying to give you information about a howler monkey? Is it trying to entertain you? <gasps> Could an author have more than one purpose at a time? Wow. Okay, so here is a map of the place where howler monkeys live. They can live in Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, Honduras. This is where we live right here. El Salvador, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, and Ecuador. And it says that they can weigh from seven to 19 pounds when they're grown. They can live from seven to 12 years long. They live from here to here in the world. And it gives us some other information about howler monkeys down here. Good job listening, friends. See you later.